Logan Paul has come forward with a shocking explanation for why he gets into so much trouble. And that explanation is, Logan Paul has brain damage. Welcome back to Inform Overload, the news channel for people who hate the news. I'm Charlotte Dobre, the hostess with the mostest tea to spill. And while I actually wouldn't necessarily call this next story tea, I would definitely call it a little bit shocking and sad though. By the way, if you want regular news updates that won't make you yawn, hit that subscribe button right friggin' now! Alright, so let's talk about Logan Paul. It's no secret that Logan Paul is one of YouTube's most controversial figures. He's done some pretty controversial things over the last couple of years. That's an understatement. There was the suicide forest incident, he said he was gonna go gay for a month, he tasered a dead rat, and he also pretended to be a flat earther. And then Logan also gave some pretty insincere apologies for all these incidents. Then after Shane Dawson's documentary series on Jake Paul, much of the YouTube community was led to believe that Logan Paul could be a sociopath. Not to be confused with psychopath, a sociopath is someone that has antisocial personality disorder, meaning that they can't empathize with other people. People with ASPD make impulsive decisions without feeling guilty for the harm they cause. Sounds a little like Logan Paul. But it turns out that Logan Paul might not be a sociopath after all. Hey, that rhymed! Serious, serious video. In a recent video called I Have Holes in My Brain, Logan Paul goes to get a brain scan. On the way to the doctor, he said, The brain scan will tell me why I am the way I am. Why am I so controversial? Why do I detest KSI? Why I'm so incapable of maintaining a committed relationship. He went to see Dr. Daniel Amen, who is a celebrity brain disorder specialist. I will also say that Dr. Daniel Amen has been criticized by the American Psychiatric Association. His methods aren't the favorite. So Logan's brain scan reveals that he has an old head injury, and this head injury affects his ability to have a human connection with others, as well as his ability to empathize with others. The head injury resulted in a titanium plate being inserted into Logan's head after an injury in middle school when Logan was 13. The brain scan showed that Logan had a couple of black spaces in his brain that showed up, which is why Logan called the video I have holes in my brain. But to clarify, Logan isn't missing part of his brain, in reality his brain is injured. The doctor explains that this specific part of Logan's brain, which is called the prefrontal cortex, is what makes us human. Because of this injury, Logan will have trouble with focus, forethought, organization, planning, empathy and learning from his mistakes. Logan's video at the time of this recording has 2.6 million views. For some, this explanation is enough, but for others they say that this is Logan's way of making excuses for his behavior. To some degree, I get why people think that this brain scan is nothing more than a good excuse. But then again, it's not really something he can help, is it? So, the burning question. Will this brain injury affect Logan's ability to fight KSI in the upcoming boxing match that's supposed to take place in the next couple of months? Well, Dr. Amen said that Logan's injury has to be treated immediately. Leaving it the way it is, is out of the question. Then the doctor told Logan that he shouldn't fight KSI because quote, his brain can't take more injury. Logan Paul now has to undergo 80 hours of medical treatment to fix his brain injury. What do you think of this guys? Do you think Logan's brain injury is an adequate reason why Logan is the way he is or do you think it's just an excuse? I personally think it's an adequate reason. I don't think Logan wants to have a brain injury. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments but for now I'm going to feature some comments from our video, Mom Finds Shocking Video on YouTube Kids. Power Bros 666 Said this channel stomps on the news. It is number one. You guys are the real deal. That is me stomping on the news. You can't see it, but it's down there. News. Twilight the Vampire Husky said, I only started watching IO three weeks ago and it's the best channel ever. I love all the hosts, especially Charlotte, and the editing is amazing. Welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for liking our content, I guess. Cuteness Queen said, I'm writing an article for the BBC next Thursday. Just found out what I'm going to write about. Ooh, you're writing an article for the BBC. Congratulations. That sounds really exciting. Alex Otero said, Does Charlotte has an Instagram? I do has an Instagram. My handle is posted in the description of this video. Jackster Mignetti said, Why don't you get your own TV channel? I think it would be very successful. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'll just make a TV channel and you guys should watch it. It's not that easy, but thank you for the compliment. The video is over. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep watching, check out that playlist right there. And obviously, if you enjoyed your time here, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And I'll see you in the next IO video.